once, dragons and men coexisted. They shared a peace forged in with wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations. All that was lost when mankind disrupted. That balance, this balance in a sudden onslaught. Man fought dragon in a savage war. That shook the foundation of their world. This war was called the Scory. Scary. Defeated and humbled, dragons vanished from the realm. In time, man rebuilt and spread his dominion across the land and on to the islands beyond. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Welcome guys to the start of a let's play of Fire Emblem Blazing Sword, also known as Fire Emblem Reckon No Ken, but I will be calling it Blazing Sword. My name is Radrex, and I welcome you guys to the start of this LP, but it is not a standard LP, it is Fire Emblem 7 Blazing Sword, the randomized edition. Yes guys, we're going to be playing through Fire Emblem 7 Blazing Sword on Elliewood Hard Mode, randomized. I gotta say, I'm really excited for this, and I... I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. If, in case you guys don't know, I have never played on hard mode on any of the Fire Emblem games. I have played a lot of Fire Emblem games. I haven't played any. This I have played. I have played six to fourteen. So I've played Fire Emblem Binding Blade to Fire Emblem Fates. So I know a lot of Fire Emblem. I haven't played the others yet, but I know a lot about Fire Emblem. And I have never played on hard mode on the GBA series except for Fire Emblem Eight, but. Ugh, Sacred Stones, they should have done better. Anyway, we're gonna be playing through Fire Emblem Blazing Sword on Elliewood Hard Mode, randomized. Let me just show you guys what I did with the randomizer. Yeah, this is it. So yeah, I uh, went with randomized classes. I am including Lords, Thieves, Bosses, and allowed unique classes. Um, if I do other Fire Emblem randomized LPs, it's... I don't think I'm gonna be doing this with Fire Emblem 8 because, if you can, in case you can't see, this includes monster classes, and I'm not a fan of monster classes in Fire Emblem 8, but I will be doing this with Fire Emblem 6 and 7. I also increased the growth rates of enemies to with 20% increased growth rates, so this is going to be quite a challenge. Uh, I'm not going to buff the bosses because, you know, that will make them even... Some of these bosses, if I buff them, they will also, like, some of them could be unbeatable, and I really don't want to waste your guys' time. So yeah, I'm just going to edit the volume level a little bit here because it's kind of low. Hang on, let me just edit that. Let me see. Come on. Uh, let me do it a little bit more. I think... Yeah, that's good. Alright, and with that, we stop there. And we are going to begin a new game. Yeah, we're not going to be doing the story mode because uh, the thing is that I actually want to play through Ellie, I want this to be a really hard challenge if we're going to be playing through Elliewood Story Mode on hard mode, not Lynn, because I don't want to, like, have, like, I don't want, I want it to be, like, this to be a weird challenge, so we're going to start this off. Create a new tactician? Sure. And do a permission? Sure. Alright, so you guys are going to see my real name? And yeah, it's my name. I'm glad I was just able to fit. I wouldn't want to have some other name. My birthday is in December. Male is... My gender is male. So yeah, with that, let us begin. Alright, 
sorry about that. I had to use the bathroom and get some water, so if you notice I cut, that's why. Anyway, once dragon fought men in a war called the Scory. Men vanished, vanquished the dragons thanks to the efforts of the eight heroes. These eight mighty generals brought peace to LB. The continent was divided into nations, and the people enjoyed an easy prosperity. The hero Hard Mud settled in the east and founded Burn famed for its military might. Saint Elmine moved west and her sacred name flourished among the artisans of Eteria. The horseman Hanos legacy lived on with the nomads in his beloved plain of his beloved plains of Sake. The birthplace of the night Bar. Bargain is now home to the renowned Knights of Ilya. The Berserker Durban's final glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Western Isles. The Arc Sage Athos is said to have retired to the barren wasteland of Nabata. The heirs, the heirs of the champion Roland themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. LB has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. How much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble? Uh, the story already has like its. Okay, never mind, I'm not gonna get into that. Deep within the Lycian League lies Ura, a land that has known no conflict for many generations but which now finds itself touched by a shadow of unease. Its beloved and benevolent ruler, Lord Elbert, has mysteriously van vanished, as have a number of his sworn men, loyal knights who serve at his side. Now we're gonna probably get one of them, maybe. A month has passed without word from the Mark. Mark, I can never pronounce that word. Rumors of his death abound. However, the Marquis. the Marquis. Marquis's son believes his father lives and is vowed to find him. Mark. Very son there, Elliewood, a red-haired youth who will one day become the finest land of all of the sea. His long journey is here. Alright, and I think I'm gonna skip this part. Eh, you know what, I guess I'm, I won't. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Lord Elliewood, we leave on your word. I see. Thank you, Marcus. Oh my god. No. Mother. Oh my god. Mother, it's time for us to go. Elliot, promise that you will return to be safe. I'm worried about your father, but if anything were to happen to you, my heart would not bear that sorrow. I know, Mother. Please do not worry. Father is alive. the door, I entrust my mother to you in my absence. Yes, my lord, I will guard over her well. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. No, no. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh man, I love this. Well, Marcus, it looks like it's just the two of us. Not so, my lord, my man, Lowen, will be traveling with us. Lowen, that's where you should You've sent him ahead to the village. He hopes to seek out a few able men who are, who are skilled in arms. Normally, I wouldn't venture forth without a larger company, but I bow to your will on this matter, Lord would. I'm sorry, Marcus, but I would not deprive my mother of even a single god. The best knights in the realm disappear with my father. If anything were to happen to my mother while I'm gone, while I am gone, I I understand. What's keeping Lowen? We've all, the, the, we've all heard that the Knights of Fury have vanished, right? Well, your misfortune is my good luck. I had an announcement to make. As of now, this village is mine. Grand 
Gronzny is your new leech. Now bring every last piece of gold down to the smallest fleck. No. No! Oh, okay. So that's how low it gets here. You just fly the little nuts. Lord Elliwood, Commander Marcus, I am. Lord, calm yourself. My knight must be in control at all times, but he's not a. You know, he is a wyvern, man, but. Yeah, so. The village is under attack. It's bandits. What? Bandits? Here? Are you sure? This girl has more details. Hey, Rebecca. You're a mage. Great. My lord, Elliwood? I'm the daughter of the village. Straight magnitude. My name's Rebecca. The bandits came without warning. They're stealing everything. I beg you, please help us. I see. Marcus, Lowen, we must aid the village. Yes, my lord. Rebecca, stay here and keep out of sight. If you please, my lord, I'd rather fight. I have a devil's every day and I have some skill to build. Well, you're not an archer, you're a mage, so you have to have skill to book. Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. Lord Elliwood, one more thing. There is another one in the village who has offered to help. A traveling tactician who is staying at the inn. A tactician? Yes, my lord. This is Madison. There I am. Do not have that color here, I think. Madison! Do you know this person, my lord? Yes, I met Madison during the trouble in Caelan last year. Military advisor, if memory serves, thank you for the compliment, Hollywood. If not for medicine, the Marcus of Caelan and his granddaughter, Lynn, might have survived Lundgren's uprising. What brings you to Ferry, my friend? Pat is still traveling about, honing your skills, I see. Of course, a worthy pursuit. Let's give thanks to the promise for our chancery. We have need of your aid. Please lend us your skill. And here are the bank. No, no, he's a Alright then, well, let me just edit this thing super quickly. Uh, solo, I like doing this now. I don't like. I, wait, yeah, I'll keep working this is official. Fast, text me fast, on, uh, auto push off, and then what color will I go for this one? Uh, I'll go with this one, number three. Yeah, alright. So the boss is bronzy, yeah, so you can see the 20% increased growth, so I've already keep in these. Normally, these guys have like crap stats, but some of them are like they still have crap stats, but some of them will be from here. So, yeah, let's take a look. We have Lowen, uh, the Wire Rider. Uh, hang on a second. Let's go to Elliewood first. So, we have Elliewood, level 1 Nomad, so he could be good. Yeah, Elliewood will be good. He's got 18 8 7 con. That's kind of bad. <laughs> that is kind of bad. But he has an emblem bow. Yeah, the emblem bow is just an iron bow with more uses. But yeah, it's good. We have Marcus, and oh my god, he comes with an aura, a purge, and a recover staff. Oh my god, Marcus. And his stats are really good for a level 1 bishop. It's sweet. That's not that good though. But everything else is fine. Eight luck, 5 defense. Come on, Marcus. A rank in magic and C rank in saves. Alright. This person, I don't know if I want to use it. But, like, not right now. Seriously, the aura. Let me just equip that down. Alright, then we have Lowen. <laughs> it's a wire run. <laughs> He's got an Iron Lance and two Nina's Graces and an Elixir. That's good. Those Nina's Graces, I don't know why the randomizer does this. It just gives you Nina's Graces a lot of them for some reason. Is that seem okay? For a wire run? Yeah. And then we have Rebecca. Rebecca as a mage, two Nina's Graces. See, this is why I mean, it just gives you that. Uh, she has D rank in, in books. I mean, anima magic, what am I saying? Uh, her stats look seem okay, but yeah, we gotta be careful. So let's get to it. We're gonna get some more units coming from this village and then on turn two. Uh, yep, I had the same. Alright, so I gotta play very defensively because these guys can probably, can they actually double their back up? So five speed, four speed, three con, ouch. But I think they, yeah, they basically do sure. So we'll place Rebecca right here. And Ellie Wood, uh, he does not double. Okay. That is, uh, Lowen does okay damage. We'll uh, place it right here. Marcus, how 
Marcus. Marcus pop. Oh wow, Marcus does not double this guy. Alright, we'll go right here. It's Marcus behind Lowen. And we wait. Yeah, I don't think any of these yep, yeah, none of them. Alright, come on Hollywood. Hollywood looks pretty, pretty good. I gotta say he looks really cool as a nomad trooper. As a nomad. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Alright, just come on. And Look, Marcus, can you believe it? It's just like that night set. That's the old Eliwood. So it seems. What's he doing? Hey, he's taking all those bandits. Protecting the answers? That's a right lordly thing to do, isn't it? Right, Dorcas? You talk too much. The Lord thing needs our help. Right. Leave these mountain weavers to me. I'm Bartry the Brave. Oh, Bartry. Alright, and what? He's still a fighter and he's really a devil axe game Why? Okay, so Bartry, he's he can be pretty good. Um, I don't know if I actually want to use him. I mean, a fighter, yes. I always welcome them. I like them. I like pirates more, but oh my god, Dorcas is a pirate. So I don't know who I would use. I mean, they're both good. Bartry, I Bartry's a little bit better than we see. Bartry's more strong. Lucky. And Dorcas has more speed and more speed, and that's basically it. So I don't know. I mean, I do like the surfers, so though. That's why I mostly go for Dark in the vanilla version. But I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know. Oh yeah, let me turn on the animation now. I gotta make sure I don't get these guys killed because uh, if they die, then they're dead, and I don't want to lose this energy ring. You get a lot of stat boosters, but still, I do not want to lose that. And you do get a dragon shield, so first off, let's. Right, how do we do here? Uh, how does Dorcas do? Oh, he doubles, nice, but no, that hit rate is shit. How does. Yeah, Bartry does not double these guys. And how does. 11? Okay. Oh, see, that, yeah, this is why I don't like Bartry. Like, off, on base, he just gets double. He gets weighed down by two by a steel axe. What a death axe. Still gets that. That's what I do. Okay. So we'll place. Alright, we're gonna trade over the steel axe. Oh, come on, you can't even build the dragon axe. Alright, we'll do that. We'll just visit this village with Marjorie. Is Lord Elvet well? We've heard nothing but foul rumors here about all of Ferry is worried for his well being. We've heard that Lord Elliot is going to find the Marcus. The Dragon Shield is our village treasure. It boosts the defenses of one who uses it. Take it, please, and may it see you and Lord Elvet home safely. Dragon Shield. Yeah, you get a lot of stat boosts using this in Elliot. Alright, he doubles with the Dragon Act. Alright, we're just gonna have to come on. Eh, Dorcas looks fine. Come on, Dorcas, come on. Alright, good. Yep. Alright, good job, Dorgus. Yeah, Dorgus, I didn't actually Oh man, Ellie would. I'm just glad we got a healer on this map because this would probably be very hard. Alright, we're gonna put Ellie Wood right there. Okay, Ellie Wood and Rebecca finish off this guy. No, we do not. Alright, Marcus can finish off that guy. How does Ellie Wood? This guy does 13 damage, and it has... Okay, yeah, I have an idea. An idea. Alright, I just... Like that, we'll place Eliwood right here. Heal up with the Vulnerary. And we'll use Marcus to kill this guy right here. And we'll attack the bandits with Rebecca. Marcus doesn't look that good. Man, getting them more at home at base. I cannot believe that. Yeah, Marcus gets very little experience. So OP. Alright. Yeah, Rebecca looks good. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright. Oh, nice job, Ellie Woods. Dodged. Yeah, we gotta get Ellie Woods some kills, because I don't want to like this. Those bandits, I think, would have gone for the village, but it's like. Ow. Come on, Lowen. Oh, come on, Lowen, really? Bowen doesn't look all that good. Yeah, the Wyvern Rider, the Wyvern Rider sprites never look that good. <laughs> they don't really look all that good most of the time. Uh, no, if the Devil Axe backfires, let me see. It's 
lot of these are 21 minus your button, so you would have a 17% chance to backfire. Alright, Dorcas can kill him, he can kill this guy. So we'll use Ellie Woods and fire on this guy. Come on, Ellie Wood. Good job. Alright, we'll use the Steelhawks to kill this guy. Let's jump Dorcas. speed is good enough so he won't get double. I don't 
think this guy would double super bike. Nope. Alright. I know I'm playing very slowly, but it's just that I don't want to lose anyone. And I don't feel like we're starting, because I think this is going to be an Iron Man mode, which is if someone dies, they stay. For the most part, just for like the early game, mostly. Alright, I'll put Bartree on this tree tile to pull that other bandit, and... Okay, good. Yeah. I plan on using some flyers. I plan on using Viper Riders over flyers mostly because, uh, mostly because, well, I don't like Pegasus most of the time, except for Farina. I will make an exception for Farina. She is, she's good. Okay, Farina is good. Archery, can you at least dodge? Like, I know you dodged a couple, but come on, dude. Get a, a, a not a vendor, a um, in this chapter. Ow. 
was that one was slow. Bartree, can you please kill this guy and not miss? Thank you. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I want to use Bartree, but I mean, I want to use like other minions. Uh, this guy has a hand axe. Alright, I think I'll leave. I'll leave Elliot there and I'll leave Bowen here. I want to purge. I want to purge that guy, but it's just that. I think I don't want Marcus to get like a blood breath on me. Hey, it looks good. What is this? What is this? A pack of children coming to play? If you can challenge me, what's three and nice? But that's impossible! No, it isn't. Oh, come on, Ellie, but seriously? Uh, I hate it when that happens. So with a lower percent gets me, but when I have a high percent, percentage you get something I can hit. Right? I guess I'll attack him with Lowen, and then Elliewood can probably swoop in and... I don't know. Yeah, this is fine. Alright. Oh, wow. It actually worked in my favor. Oh, my... Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. Lowen at least got a hit off him. Oh, good. Lowen's gonna get a level up soon. How does, uh... How does, uh, Rebecca do? Uh, I'll leave her there. Who knows, maybe... There we go. Oh, good. Nice. Come on, Rebecca. Nice. Oh, close to a level up. Okay, I get it. Alright, I guess I can let uh, Lowen hit this guy. Come on, Lowen, hit the guy. Come on. Come on. Ah, Lowen. He's close, though. He's close. Yep, and I think Rebecca. Yep. Alright, Rebecca. Nope. I did. One more. One more. Oh, wait. Uh, ow, and. That's what I thought. Dang it, I wanted to get that in with that kid. Uh, I thought my luck was probably turning around. You thought wrong. You died. Alright, Lowen gets a bunch of experience. Now, uh, Lowen, he's gonna get that level. It po what the frick? Come on! My level up's been crap. Uh, am I gonna get bad level ups this entire room? Okay, Marcus, heal up low end because, you know, experience, even though you're gonna get benched soon. Ah, uh, you would be Lord Elliwood, yes? Our deepest thanks for coming to the aid of our families. Take that thing up, it's a Lord's duty to protect the citizens. Would that. Would that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Would that work true, my lord? The good folk of loss know no such protection. The mock, because Lord Darn is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all the complaints of bandits and thieves. Preparing for what? Are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lived in Mars until a few days ago. This one was tortured and had to be sure to flee here. How did the hell of Lost could go to war any day? Because all the people of Lost are talking about Lord Elliot, if this were true, if this is true, this situation is brave. If Marcus the Lost is ready for war, this talk is most likely another Lycian territory. Parents. My father in law, Marcus Gloss, it's this endless connection. It's a nearest connection. But it's, but it's as good a start as any. Let us try to lost. We must leave. And don't leave me behind. Thank you for your guidance, Madison. Where are you bound for next? If you have no destination in mind, perhaps you could travel with us. Ours is a small group with a single purpose to find our father. Well, it's going to be a big one soon. Where our world will lead, but we would be stronger with you in our company. You will travel with us? Splendid! Thank you. I pray we give you no cause to regret your decision. Rebecca, where do you think you're going, young lady? 
Father, I, I intend to accompany Lord Edward. Don't be ridiculous, girl. Lord Edward is not going on a picnic. He's running into danger. I know that, Father. That's why I want to go. We owe him our lives, and I want to repay him. My bow may not be all that much, but I know I can be a service to you. Don't have a bow. You use books. But, and Father, I may meet up with my brother somewhere. Oh, I know where he is. Yep, you're going to be able to you're the mag mag You're the magistrate. You're the magistrate. You have responsibilities. I this is all I can offer. I need to do this. Please let me go. Dear me, you're just as stubborn as your mother was. I'm sorry, mother. You must bow you must bow to bow. Uh, you must you must bow to Lord Elliot's wishes on this matter. If he consents, you may go. Father, Lord Elbert has always been kind to us. Follow his son with a true heart, Rebecca. Serve Elliot well as I have served his father. I will, Father. Alright. That was chapter 11. Taking leave. I gotta say, not bad. I think I did good. I know I'm played pretty defensively, but, you know, I just didn't want to lose anyone because I, at least because the early game of every Fire Emblem game, I feel is you know, a bit challenging, but yeah, so that was it, just uh, want to say thank you guys for watching, be sure to leave a like and a comment, I always, I read the comments of all my videos, and yeah, uh, this is, uh, this is my first part, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.